guys, welcome to the Scaven TV. On this episode, I want us to talk about IV fluids. When and how to use IV fluids. Most of us, uh, we've been assigned to administer IV fluids to patients before. I was once a victim. I know you have also done it before. But what do you know about IV fluids? The common IV fluids such as normal saline, Ringer's lactate, then DNS or the test truth. What do you know about it? That's the reason why today I want to simplify it for you and also let you know when and how to give each of these IV fluids. Stick and stay with me and let's dive into this together. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and please, please follow us on all our social media platforms. Next, Kevin. TV. Let's continue. So the first thing, or the first IV fluid that we are going to talk about is the normal saline. In uh, your course with the normal saline, NS, 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 NS. The NS is also known as the default fluid. We call it the default fluid. And this fluid contains, or is made up of, or it is being composed of sodium and chloride. Sodium and chloride so and it is an isotonic fluid it is an isotonic what fluid so when we talk of isotonic fluid uh, isotonic fluid you know because they are the fluid that contains the same solute like the fluid inside our body so they are the fluids that they contain the same solute as the fluid inside our body so they contain what one the electrolytes the salt and other you know, that would contain this medication. When should we give normal saline? We give normal saline one when the patient is what dehydrated. When the patient is dehydrated, then two is to when the patient is what in shock. When the patient is in shock, we can uh, we need to also give the normal saline. Then when or during blood transfusion. So during after and before blood transfusion, we need to give normal saline. We can give normal saline. Now, let's talk about the contraindication of normal saline or the reason why you shouldn't give normal saline. Or the first one, no, a heart failure. When the patient is what experiencing, or when the patient is what is a heart failure patient, please don't give normal saline. And also, when the patient is also suffering from kidney failure, don't also give normal saline because you see say, the kidney is the one going to secrete the fluid going to make sure say make clean uh, so when you take in this or when you uh, give the patient or this uh, you know, and the patient you know, is suffering from this kind of condition you know, there's going to be fluid overload due to that you know, the kidney is not working properly so it cannot be able to make sure say be stabilize it. I'm a PI I'm a UK. So don't give it when the patient is suffering from kidney failure. Let's continue. So now let's go to the gastrose. So when we talk of the gastrose, it's also known as the sugar booster. The sugar booster. This medication uh mostly or this infusion uh, uh is mostly given when the patient is suffering from hypoglycemia or when the patient lacks calories. So it will be a sugar level and then our form and a young man so you show we are your friend the test truth test truth i'll be my friend dns test truth so um, it also contains uh dextrose plus water into the dextrose and the water and i had a it made it up this medication and it is known as a hypotonic so to this drug a hypotonic drug a hypotonic Meaning that uh, it has less, less concentration, or they have less concentration of the solute in our body. So what I say, uh, we have less of them. So uh, yes, so that's what also known as uh, uh, that's also about the test truth. So we give it one when the patient is uh, suffering from hypoglycemia. Then also give it to provide calories to the body or to the body system so let's look at the contraindication the contraindication of uh, this medication first one is diabetes 
So when the patient is diabetic, please don't give this IV medication. Please, which is known as uh, don't give this medication known as the gastrophy when the patient is diabetic because you are giving it is is a sugar booster which is going to boost the sugar level in the body so they are because a patient and then this sugar now the upper from you that's the reason why you're giving this medication so when the patient sugar level no higher don't give this medication because remember the panel here the sugar now the upper high more and we know what can come if the sugar level no is that much higher so when the patient is diabetic don't give this medication then risk of cerebral edema so when the patient is also uh, suffering from cerebral edema please don't give this medication so these are some of the contraindications of the uh, gestures so guys let's move on to uh, the ranges lactate so when we talk of the ranges lactate it's also known as the rescuer fluid the rescuer fluid this fluid, you know, is composed of, or the alcohol is composed, or is made of these chemicals. One, a hey, sodium is made up of sodium, potassium, chloride, cas uh, calcium, and lactate. So it's made up of what? Sodium, potassium, chloride, calcium, then lactate. So, um, so this is what these ranges lactate is what made up of and it is also what an isotonic isotonic medication or isotonic what fluid so on and this medication you know, we give it or uh, they are being used for patients one to be our pains when your pains the gas is the number we give this particular patient you know, this medication then major blood loss severe will be any accident for loose mojave we give this medication to help the patient. So they are or when somebody is in what is in trauma, we can also give ranges lactate. Then severe dehydration. Severe dehydration. When the patient is severely dehydrated, now the skin color in the actually change color and then you know so the actually have a lamba color and all those stuff. But you need to give this medication known as the ranges lactate. Then metabolic acidosis so when the patient is also uh, suffering from metabolic acidosis that's when we give the ranges lactate so on so now let's look at the contraindication of the ranges lactate the first one that we are going to talk about is liver failure so when the patient is suffering from liver failure please don't give this medication already now no, medical culture said the lactate you know, is going to be converted by the liver into a bicarbonate so as say to help buffer acidosis it's going to help to, uh, to buffer acidosis so when the liver not has a problem uh, meaning the liver cannot metabolize well because liver you know, is through the liver and our metabolism which is really a young man so they are so when the liver is weak or when the liver is not working properly it cannot what metabolize well and due to that you know it can worsen or it can cause another problem to the body so don't give it when the patient is suffering from liver failure then also kidney failure don't give it when the patient also is suffering from what kidney failure because of what of the potassium because of the potassium content in the ranges lactate then the next one is hyperkalemia uh, so hyperkalemia when the patient uh, potassium level so then it was right. don't give it because remember adenal pathway much higher so uh -huh. then during blood transfusion, don't give ranges lactate because of the calcium in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the calcium in the ranges lactate. When you give uh, this medication during blood transfusion, it's going to cause blood clotting. Remember, to cause blood clotting. So please don't give it during blood transfusion. Thank you guys for watching. Keep on watching Escaping TV. I love you guys.